Watch you guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to create the ultimate USB PC repair tool. Now if you're into PC repair or you fix a lot of Windows machines then these WinPE types of uh, toolkits are very useful for fixing uh, Windows based machines. You can see here we've got the IOMI PE builder. This will allow you to build your own uh, bootable USB flash drive with all your tools on it and including a bootable version of Windows 10. So download this piece of software and install it and I'll show you how to add in your portable apps which you use on a regular basis. So if the PC is non-bootable, i.e. you can't boot into the Windows uh, desktop, then you can boot to something like this to do a lot of uh, things like uh, backup in your data, uh, data recovery, doing a lot of fixes from this sort of environment. And uh, it's a very useful way of trying to resolve a lot of issues. So you can see here, we're going to go through the installation process. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is click next, accept their terms of agreement there and click next and uh, go next again. And you can create a shortcut on your desktop. And basically this will install the program onto your computer. Now you're going to need to make sure you source your own portable applications. And uh, if you do a bit of research, you can uh, find those available on uh, trusted websites make sure they are trusted websites because sometimes portable applications can be laced with malware so be very very careful where you source your portable apps from if you want to have full uh, protection uh, from these dodgy portable apps then create your own portable apps it's very easy to do and uh, you can do that yourself so we've got this installed now and uh, what we need to do is just let this finalize and we can move on to the next stage now this is probably the most easiest way of creating a WinPE with your own applications inside there. So click finish. And once we click finish, we can then open up uh, the application. And this is it here. Just gonna go next here. And you can now download the WinPE uh, creating environment from, from the internet. So you will need an internet connection. And also you can either create a 64-bit version Windows PE or a 32-bit version Windows uh, PE. So it's entirely up to you. I'm going to go for the 64-bit. Click Next. And this is where you've got all the meat and potatoes for this particular type of uh, project. You can go in here and... Uh, you can see file, you can add in a few other programs like everything and a bunch of other things here. I'm going to untick Recover uh, because I've got my own uh, recovery software and you've got a bunch of other stuff in here. So just uh, tick what you like, go on to the network settings. I've left those alone and inside system, I've left those alone as well. What you can do now is add in drivers. So if you've got drivers that you want to add in, you can do. And if you've got also programs this is where you add them in. You can either add a file or you can add in a folder. So depending on which way you want to go about it, uh, will determine how it all works uh, once you boot up to your new Windows 10 PE. So I'm going to add folders here and I'm going to choose a folder that I want to uh, use. So let me go to that location. There we go. And I'm just going to click on, say for instance, uh, registry backup and you can see I've added a bunch of these inside here okay there we go click OK once you've uh, selected all of your portable apps just going to do a couple of more here and click OK so we've got 814 megabytes of files added in and that's going to be the size of our ISO so you can export it as an ISO or you can create your bootable USB device at this stage. Because this is a tutorial, I'm just going to create an ISO image, but this is where you would select a bootable USB flash drive and make your bootable USB flash drive to have all your WinPE tools on it. But I want to show you uh, what it looks like, and to do that, I would need to create an ISO. That's why I'm doing the ISO image. But at that stage, as I said, you would select the bootable USB flash drive. So we're just gonna let this uh, finish off and uh, we'll take a look at it. Now what these uh, tools are also good for is if you've got malware on the system and uh, malware is stopping uh, programs from running and things like that, what you can do is boot up to one of these uh, Windows PE um, USBs 
and basically you can run scans from there and hopefully uh, try to remove uh, any malware. You can also do a manual malware removal from this environment which gives you a lot better chance of getting the system to boot and also give you a chance to run the programs that you want to run from your desktop. And you can also do a bunch of other fixes from this environment. I've made quite a few videos on this topic so you can check out some of my older videos which were done quite a while ago. So let's just uh, let this install and finish off. You can see it's just adding our custom tools that we added to our uh, job and uh, let that add all those in. It's now finished so we can click the finish button and our bootable USB flash drive should be complete with our Windows 10 PE with all our tools added to it. So let's go ahead and test this puppy and see what it looks like and uh, we're going to boot this up. There we go. And you should see the normal Windows 10. And this is what it will look like when you're booting up uh, to that USB flash drive. You will need to change the boot order in your BIOS to boot up to your USB flash drive. But once it's fully loaded, this is what you're going to see uh, on your PC. Okay. And you can see here, you've got all your tools here. You can run them from here. And you've got a bunch of other stuff. So you can add in your own tools, whatever you like, and uh, which you use on a daily basis. Uh, you know, registry backup tools whatever you like to run and uh, cloning tools, um, you know, Windows data backup tools, loads of different tools you want to add to this uh, sort of um, WinPE that makes your job a lot easier. And you've got be built in uh, applications as well, which can be useful. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can create your own bootable USB flash drive with your Windows 10 PE and all your tools on that uh, WinPE. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.